Growing up in Australia can feel a little bit isolating. Seeing all these cultural influences from America and Europe can kind of leave you with this itch to just get out there and travel. And that's what a lot of Australians do. Seeing new places, meeting new people, and gaining new perspectives is one of the best things that you can do to help navigate and understand this complicated world that we all share. I've traveled to a lot of different places, but there is one that I never thought I would go to. Russia. I recently got the opportunity to compete in a skateboarding competition in Kazan, Russia. To be honest, I don't really know a whole lot about Russia. It's cold, snowy, has some crazy viral videos, and they're always the bad guy in the movies. I decided I would go and check it out for myself, and I began the journey from my apartment in Los Angeles. I'm gonna set a stopwatch timer and I wanna see how long it takes me to get from door to door. I have a feeling I'm gonna eat a bunch of terrible things on this trip. So let's kick it off with a nice one. Some beautiful, authentic Turkish delight. Oh yeah. So the deal with getting to Russia, there's two main ways, because you can't just fly from the US, is people either go to Turkey or they go to Dubai. I went the Turkey way. I was looking at the map, and then the route that this goes, it does fly directly over Ukraine. So I'll admit I'm a little bit nervous for that. And the other homies are going the Dubai way, so they don't have to worry about this. We're gonna go to the next flight. Hopefully it's all good. made it through the customs and that was always a super stressful experience for me especially in this scenario but looks like we're all good now we're all just getting organized that journey took about 28 hours since i left my house so looking forward to going to bed it's about 1 a.m but yeah right now we're just getting organized meeting all the skaters meeting all the event stuff and stuff and then we're gonna see how really cold it is outside Okay, made it to the room. Wow, that's very cute. So this is our team, long necks. But man, I think the total time was about 31 hours of travel from the door of my house to this hotel room. So I'm very exhausted. I'm glad that that's over. I'm gonna crash out and we're gonna get in the morning. So this is the hotel we are staying at. If I'm honest, I'm not really sure exactly what I was expecting, but it was really beautiful and comfortable and safe, and I felt good about it. We also got three meals a day from the hotel with this kind of Russian buffet style, and it also had unlimited coffee, so I was very stoked on that. The hotel also has this Skater XL video game area. Now I'll get into this a little bit later on, but the competition is actually half Skater XL and half real skateboarding. But for now, let's go outside and explore Kazan. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Считается трасс Кровью, как ветра Полетания Выхода нет Выхода нет Сколько лет пройдется о том же Гудеть провода и все того же ждать самолета. Девочка с глазами самого синего льда, то есть под огнем пулемета. This is our own personal guide and her name is Katya. She was amazingly helpful to us and is a really awesome person, so you're gonna see a bunch more of her in the video. I'm actually very curious to see what it's gonna look like. So there are a lot of people that look like this standing around and if I'm honest I was filming them a little bit on my phone and then they came up to me and they said whoa you gotta delete that footage then they deleted it from the deleted album too so I'm not gonna lie that did make me feel a little bit nervous so I don't really have much footage of them now. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ooh. The skating zone is over there. Thank you. Ooh, let's go. Yo. <laughs> That's hectic. These guys are so f***ing good. Rick's definitely a little bit out of place here, but it's okay. I'm here for the experience. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to experience the other places. <laughs> Alex is suggesting I do a 180 through here. Ah, you put that TV there. <laughs> you have to hippy jump through that into it. Oh my goodness. Skate park was very cool and it was also awesome to meet some of the Russian people that were part of the event stuff and catch a little bit of a sesh with them and just hang out and get to know them a little bit too. That was really cool for me. 
So with the digital aspect of the competition, we really did have to unify as a team and try to think about the strategy of how we're going to do this because this isn't just skateboarding, there's actually like a lot more factors that go into this. So you can see me practicing kind of a sorry excuse for a run with Bankari playing the video game version. So this is both of us kind of practicing just to sort of see how everything will actually go down on the competition day. Sick. Skating the skate park was extremely fun and then there was just a few more logistical things that we had to finish up before we were ready to compete the next day. But before the day is officially over, there is one very, very important thing we have to do. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you. Yeah! All right, so it's the night before the competition and it is a little bit complicated, but I'll try to explain the structure as basically as I can for you guys. There's basically three sections of this event. Two 45 second runs where one of the best scores is taken. Then five best tricks where two of the scores are taken, but both of these events are multiplied by if you can recreate your original tricks in the game of Skater XL. So when we compete, we're gonna have Nixon Osborne doing the runs, Ben Curry doing the best tricks, and good old Rick on the sticks. Feeling pretty good about everything. It is definitely gonna be very crazy tomorrow though, so let's get a good rest. Let's do this. Добро пожаловать в Казань, друзья! Вкусно и точка фиджитал скейтбординг 16... Команда Long Neck! Бен Карри, Рики Глазер, Никсон Осборн и Николас Кларк. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have Rick on the commentating as well because I do not know what the original commentators are saying. But here we go with Nixon. The run does start when you pop on the first trick. So it was on that back lip. He hit that front Smith. Honestly, that rail was the biggest there. It was so weird how you went straight down from that ramp straight into the kicker. It was very bizarre to skate that. Even though not many people really skated, they just skated the centerpiece. This was also a hard obstacle and extremely hard to skate in the game, I gotta say. And you may notice that Nixon does a hand plant here, which you actually can't do in the game, but the organizer said that it was okay if we do it in the run and it will get run score points, but then it just won't get multiplied. But Nixon looking very calm, very stylish, and boom, puts out the flawless run. And then it was Rick's time to shine. Now, honestly, I can't even begin to describe how nervous I was. So, like, being in a skate competition is one thing, and I'm so comfortable skating, I've been skating my whole life, that, like, I can kind of just focus back on actual skating. But playing a video game is not something that I've been doing my whole life, and I'm not that good at this game either, so I'm just really trying to do my best. I was still kind of new to doing Nixon's run too, and he sort of used a lot of ramps like we see right now, which is a lot harder in the game, and ended up with me bailing and oh man, my, my heart and soul just broke, you can just see it right there. But I really tried my best, and I felt kind of a lot of pressure because if I mess up a competition for myself, that's one thing, but when my fellow teammate does the run perfectly and then it's up to me and then I mess it up, it's like another thing. So I was pretty upset about this. So for the second run, Nixon and I agreed that he'll do the same run again and I'll just try my best to recreate it and actually get the full multiplier. So on the first one I got a 1.5 multiplier, but the highest would be 2.5 with zero mistakes. 
but a two would still be pretty good too, so he landed everything perfectly, then it was up to Rick. With the first run jitters out of the way, I think I did skate a little bit better. Just these gap to smith grinds are so hard in the game. And just this was the only thing I really messed up. So you have to click in the thumbstick and that's how you exit the rail early. And it does ollie north if you do the timing wrong. But managed to put it down pretty good and get the times two multiplier. So I was very relieved from that one and hyped. Then next up was the best trick section. So we had Ben Curry and remember he has five chances to put up two scores. So on the first one, we agreed front tail, he's not gonna bail and is pretty easy in the game. So he did it perfectly. We got a nice little replay action and a pretty good score considering what the trick is. Then luckily I managed to do it. Now doing the single tricks in the game is 1 million times easier than doing the runs. Doing the run is borderline impossible. I don't know if you ever played Skater XL, but I advise you to go try to a run and land it in one try. It is literally so hard. But yeah, we got the full multiplier for that. So in the best tricks, 1.5 is the full multiplier. Then on the next trick, he tried to null heal the stairs, something else we agreed upon and landed on the second try. So now we're three tries deep out of our five. And we were hoping for a really good score. I mean, 50 is pretty good, but we did think it might be a little bit higher, but that's okay. And then Rick came through very easy. It's very easy to do stair tricks in the game. Some things are harder than others for sure to recreate. So I was relieved that now we have a full set of three scores. So we are doing pretty good in the competition. The next two shots, Ben tried to kick up over the hubba and improve our score, but he didn't land it, but it's no big deal. And that was it for our competition experience. So the results are in for the contest. We came ninth. We needed to come eighth to make to the next round. And we literally missed out by only a couple of points. It is what it is. I'm proud that we even came ninth. I think that's really good. But now we can just have some fun and enjoy running. So our guide managed to pull a few strings and actually get us to this awesome skate park. It's called Uram Park. And it's actually where they were holding the BMX Fidgetal Games. And this was a little part of the BMX course that I got to skate while they weren't using it. brand is this? Oh, cliche what, bro? Special for Braille. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Perfect. Five years, I'm subscribed to you to go. Ah, that's awesome. Five years to back. Uh, you special man. <laughs> you special man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to... Here. I'm happy to be here. I haven't seen one of these in maybe 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, it's old school. Alright, we made it out to the Blue Lake. I wasn't thinking about jumping in, but now I'm feeling the pressure. But Nixon inspired me. Ah. Let's go.
the Russian subway system like? Let's see this. For you from my heart. Спасибо, Спасибо Ребята, давайте, давайте всем good luck, good luck, good luck. Bro, it is real. Actually doing it. No way. The grocery store. This is what my friend said. He goes, ask for Ikra, 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 of course. Yes. It's a caviar. It's like red, you know. Okay, so this is called kvass, and this is like winter, winter kvass. <laughs> no. Smell first. Yes. Weird. Yeah, it's, it's like, okay. It's like, almost like carbonated soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like honey a little bit yeah. as well. Honey. Also very Russian thing. Oh, this is good. Yeah. It's like a sweet, mm. don't you? Yeah. It's like super airy. Yeah, airy, right, right. So good. <laughs> so it's like a weird taste. I think you don't oh, like it. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's... Yeah, no. Yes? Oh, I can't like it. <laughs> not really, but it's... <laughs> so this is the thing Yuri told me to try. Oh. Oh. Pretty fishy. Okay, first step. <laughs> no, it's good. You like it? Really? Mm, they, maybe for me, you know, like too salty. Oh, crocky! So this is Russian McDonald's. The name loosely translates to delicious. That's it. But I was told that there was an event on here, but I didn't really have any information or context. And I was absolutely not ready for what I was about to walk into. So I'm going to leave you guys in the dark with me and let's see if we can figure out what the heck is going on. <laughs> Сделать то, 
Shrimp roll, look, that's pretty bougie. We got chicken wings, chicken strips, shrimp dippers. We got the shrimpies here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try this shrimp. Yeah, that's actually really good. Do you feel like you are seven and it's your best birthday ever? <laughs> what the heck? Let's go. That's rare. Thank you. Спасибо. Wow. So the guys were interested in getting a group tattoo. I personally wasn't quite brave enough to get it done, but I think it was really cool. They ended up getting the Matryoshka Russian doll, and it says Kazan in the Russian text. All right, let's get this. Katya also stepped up and went to get some English text and she got this masterpiece. That's sick. Yeah, I don't regret. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, hit a that's sick in the comments. Мне нравятся эти соревнования. Я катаюсь не только на скейте, но и на BMX. Oh yeah, right. The contest. So the team Latino gang won and I'm very glad they did because they absolutely could not be more deserving. But personally what I'm more stoked about is that France, England, Mexico, Turkey, Denmark, Madagascar, the United States, South Africa, Iran, Russia, and many more countries could all come together to compete for skateboarding. Personally, I think that is really cool and really special. I had an awesome time in Russia, and this was definitely one of the most memorable trips of my life. It was great experiencing Russian culture and getting to know the local people. Pretty much everyone I interacted with was very polite and welcoming. They seemed genuinely curious about our lives and grateful that we would visit during this time. It might be the Australian in me, but I wish Americans would try to have a little bit more perspective. Russian people aren't evil statistics, they're human beings. And just because the leadership in your country does things, it doesn't mean you support them. My heart goes out to all the people affected by this war. It is truly devastating to think of the scope of lives lost on both sides, and every day I hope peace can be reached. The world is a complicated place, and I have sympathy for the innocent civilians from Ukraine and Russia. I hope things like skateboarding can keep people going through these dark times. The organizer of this event, who shreds by the way, has been hosting international skate competitions in Russia for the past eight years, and I hope he can continue to spread the positive love of skateboarding when they need it most.